All right, folks, let's get started on this painting. This is something different than I normally do. This is acrylic. This painting has been sitting around probably seven months, man. <laughs> I was going to do this painting a long time ago, and I changed my mind. And it's been sitting around, and I got tired of looking at it, so I grabbed it the other day. So this is what we're going to do today. You guys have seen the thumbnail, I'm sure. I'm taking some blue and some white. This is canvas is totally dry. This acrylic is totally dry right here. And I'm putting a blue background in this. I'm scrubbing it in, blue and white. This is an actual picture. This is not um, from anything else. This is an actual picture. It's kind of cool looking. I mean, that's why I was going to do it to start with. And for some reason, I just changed my mind. And I got to use my iPad today to look at the picture because my printer is out of ink. Until it gets here, I've got to do it this way. Look at my iPad. Just blue and white. And this is a this is a big boy canvas. This is an 18 by 24. I call it the big boy canvas. I usually, most of the time here lately, past several months, I've been using 16 by 20s. But that is not what this is. Thalo blue and white. Mixing it up. This has some odd colors in it today. I've pre-mixed a lot of them just to save time. Colors I don't normally use, but that's okay because when you do things you're not used to doing, I'm not used to doing dark paintings like this. This is I usually have real bright paintings, not necessarily on purpose so so much as. That's just what I like. I mean, I, I, so I guess maybe it is on purpose. That's just what inter interests me. I like bright paintings. I got a, some white right there. That's dry, and I think that's where a tree is going to go, right over top of that. Okay. Let's take a look, make sure that's... We'll stand back and look at this here in a second, make sure this is where we want everything so far. All right, let's start putting in some background trees. This tree here is actually too dark. This one's just right. I got a big, man, I got so many collars here. I made a purple and I took some of this, put in here, added more white. This is a mix of green, Prussian blue, brown, white, black, just all mixed together. And this is brown and alizarin crimson here. I've just got different collars, man. This. This painting has lots of different colors. I mean, they're nice colors, but you just gotta, you just gotta try to match I mean, the best you, that you can, really. That's, that's all you can do. I mean, they don't sell colors like this in a store. You have to mix your own on a painting like this. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It makes it yours then, don't it? Mix your own colors. Makes it hard to match. No, but you just got to, like the picture I'm looking at, and this is a picture I'm looking at, um, you just have to try to match it. Match the colors the best that you can. And these are just background trees I'm throwing in here. Let's see, I think I will do one more right here, I think. But we're starting with the everything that's furthest away no matter what it is, and we're coming forward, especially on this particular painting today. This painting here is almost confusing. It's got so many layers, layers of leaves and trees. It's got a lot of stuff going on, more than what you would probably think, more than what I would think. Now we're only going up so high well, this is a leaf canopy right here. And I think that's high enough. So let's start here. Let's let's go ahead and see if we can't cover this. Oh yeah. Look how nice that covers up. Almost it almost matches perfect. That's shocking. 
matches perfect with the trees. This is acrylic trees, and this is oil paint I'm putting on here, and it almost matches perfect. Shocking. One of those happy accidents, right? And I'm, this is this is about all the distant trees we're going to do in this painting. Those and these. And I want to go ahead and finish doing this off camera so I don't bore you. And I will be back since I finish these. I'm going to go ahead and do some other tree placement while I'm messing around here. I'm going to use raw umber. We're going to go over these trees a couple times. Um, but I want to put them, put them where I want to put them. Because over here I got to add a few. And before I do much else, I want to make sure I know where everything's going to be. But a lot of these trees are really, really dark. Really dark. So we're, when we put leaves on, because there's a lot of leaves in this, it'll get on our trees and we're not going to worry about it because we're going to have to go over them again. But I do want to get them put in. We know there's one here. I may have to add one here. But for now, we're just going to put one right here. See, I've got to determine where my road and stuff is. I threw this acrylic on here. Like I said, it's been months and months and months ago. I wished I hadn't have done it so quickly because um, it's kind of confusing now looking at this acrylic and then trying to look at this picture because everything is not where it needs to be. Shame on me. Okay, let's keep going here. We need a tree here. Now remember, this is oil paint I'm using. This is not acrylic. Let's curve that around a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's put one right here. Come down, curve in. Let's put one, one or two more. Could do the same. Curl it in here at the bottom if we wanted. Get some more raw umber on our brush. Yeah, this is probably the darkest painting I've ever done, probably, on YouTube. Because um, most of my paintings are not dark. But this, it just it was so interesting to me that I thought, you know, I just got to do it. It's different, and I always say we try to do things that are different. So that's perfectly fine. It helps me, too, to do different stuff. When you do the same old thing all the time, I mean, you know, that's not really much of a challenge now, is it? If you do the same stuff over and over and over, even my mountains I'll try to make different. Okay, let's take some raw umber. I'm going to put just a touch of white in it. For these trees right here because they have a little white in they're a little bit further back I know these trees look awful straight don't they I mean that's the way it looks in a picture we don't always have to follow the picture and I don't most of the time and I probably shouldn't make these trees so straight put a little a little bit of crook in them anyway. A 
but we're going to go over them again. I think I can bend them up a little bit. Well, I'm going to work on this tree and this big one over here. And this one, if I haven't, I think I got that one. And I will bring you right back. Okay, I am back. I'm going to start putting some, some type of leaf forms up in here. And probably down in here. And I'm going to start with the lighter colors first. This is my plan of attack. Let me put a little white in this. This is um, deep yellow, I believe is what this is called. This actually came from a tube. I didn't mix this. Yeah, that's, that's a little better. And I'm just going to try to follow the picture because there is so many collars. So many different types of collars on here. I'm just going to put it in where I think I see it. And we're just going to try to get it to work. <laughs> that's all you can do, right? Try to make it work. Um, it looks like there's some down in here. Right along in here. There's going to be collars on top of collars in this one. Okay, not so much over here, just on this side. Okay, let me get a different collar. I'm just using the same brush. This is uh, brown and a lizard and crimson, this pile here. Let's see what we can do here. Just, I may take a shop towel and blot this afterwards. Just to just to see, because it's not really a leaf form. It's just lots of many, many different colors. I mean, it's not like comma strokes, because this is distant. These are distant. So this, it may be okay to take a shop towel, and I think it will be, and just blot this. I just want the collar. Lots of different types of collars. Okay. Let me look at this a little better here. I think there's some coming down through here. Okay. Now we're going to use this. This kind of looks like an olive, olive green of some sorts. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I mixed up a while ago, man. It was so many different things. I mean, we'll get it. It's just, it just takes some time. But we will get it. See some of that peeking through right here too. Behind this tree. That's why I said we're gonna get this on the trees and that's fine. We don't care about that. I expect it to. Got some stuff right here, but I need to fill this in with something. I will deal with that here in a minute. It gets pretty dark right there, so let's jump over. I think I see some right in here. Yeah, this is a different type of painting than what I normally do. And like I said, it's good for me to do different stuff. It's called expanding your horizon. That's what I'm calling it today. Anyways. I'm just going to probably keep doing this. Let's make see if I can get some lighter. Something a little lighter down in here. I'm just going to keep playing around with this, guys. That's all I can tell you. I mean, I don't want to leave you leave you on hold while I'm doing this slow, slow work. This is actually kind of a slow painting, really. But um, I'm just going to keep on working on this, and I'll bring you back, and we'll try to get this the way I want it. I've been working on this right here. Um, my goal is today is just to get collar all over, over the whole canvas, put oil paint on it. This is still acrylic. I need to work on that, work on that, and do the bottom. And I'm going to use a one-inch brush just to speed it up. 
I'm going to use some Prussian blue in this, raw umber, some black. And the reason I'm using Prussian blue is because I have it on my palette. I don't want it to go to waste. So I am just going to go to town here real quick. And I'm going to cover up all this acrylic paint that I had on here. And I'm probably going to wipe some of this off with a shop towel. Raw umber, Prussian blue, black. Okay, let's, let's get ready to work on the bottom area here a little bit. Uh, let me get my picture back out and take a look. Okay, most of this is black. Okay, raw umber, Prussian blue, black. We're going to do it the quick way. You can throw other colors in too, it doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to get some sand and throw in here. Can't hardly tell. Let's take some lizard and crimson. Let's see what we can come up with. It's all dark anyway. Lizard and crimson. I like that in foreground. Prussian blue. Let's use up all of our dark colors. There's some burnt sienna. That's not necessarily dark. So I'm going to clean up all of my dark colors. Use them all. Black, Prussian blue, lizard and crimson. Looking better already. Actually, we had actually this is a path, somewhat of a path, and um, this might be about all I do for today. All right, I've been working on this a little bit, and I realize now that I'm looking at my picture, I need to bring these trees down further. I added two right here, and these trees right here are not down far enough. Of course, we just started on this, man. We got a long ways to go. There's a whole lot going on here in this painting. Um, I'm using Prussian blue, raw umber, and black. And now these need to come way down here. So I'll just take this tree and bring it down. Uh, yeah. Okay, this one's this tree here is really dark. If you notice, these trees all have different shades: blue, some are lighter, and the closest ones are the darkest. Kind of interesting. But this tree comes all the way down. To somewhere in here. We'll figure out exactly where here in a minute, but somewhere down in here. And that's probably good enough for that one. Let's see, do we want another one here? I think we might want another one right here. I'll make it a little crooked. If I can. I've already started making it straight. Now I've got to try to put a crook in it. Yeah, I was looking at this and I was thinking something looks a little funny. And not funny in a good way either. And I think that's what it was. It didn't bring these trees down far enough. Okay, let me bring this, and I got paint just hanging on my brush, I got so much, <laughs> got so much paint on here. 
think I'll cover this edge up right here. You know, you just gotta change with your painting, man. If something don't look right, change with it. I do it all the time, because you have to. You gotta change as your painting does. It's not always easy to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some black on these. Some of these are really black, some of these trees. This, this painting is sat overnight, so some of this is dry. Not dry, drier than it was yesterday. This is oil paint, man. It don't dry quick. It's a good thing and a bad thing. I, I like it, though. I mean, I wouldn't... I wouldn't change that I'm aware of because I do like it. This tree here is solid black. Actually, I think I might bring this one down more. Why not? Why not bring it down more? This one put in. And I still may change them yet. I don't know. I'm just feeling this painting out. Like I said, it's on my iPad. And this actually should have been a vertical painting. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I <laughs> sketched this out with that acrylic. But hey, that's how it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep piddling around. I just want to show you that I'm making some changes here with these trees. All right. We're going to start working on the road here a little bit. Um, I got a collar mixed up. I got some black, some Prussian blue, some white, some brown. This is really dark down in here, but I got to—it's got to have some some kind of collar on it, so you can see it somewhat. I put some—I would—I didn't know what to do with this really, <laughs> so I just put some texture in here. This is grass, supposedly real dark, um, green, Prussian blue. I think that's about it. And then I took a little burnt sienna, just so maybe you can see some of it in there, just for some color. I don't know how far over to bring my road. We're just kind of winging this at this point. We do that a lot, don't we? But yeah, I just got an old nasty looking, bunch of muddy, muddy looking collar here. It seems to be working. I kind of like this collar. This is about what I want. I don't know how far to bring it, so we'll just kind of just kind of use our imagination. I'm standing back here looking at it for a minute. You know, that don't probably look too bad considering what it is. You know, you can see the light is behind everything. It's shooting across the road. We got to work on this, obviously. But that's the point. You, the light's way in the back, shooting across the road, or the path. All right, let's put a few branches, twigs. I've got, I'm going to use my liner brush to um, do a lot of this work. But I'm going to take this as a number one brush. I did put some collar on these trees. I just cannot help it. I can't hardly leave a tree black. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why. It's just a, just a thing I have. These trees are actually in the photo that I have. These close-up trees are actually black, and they might look better black. I don't know. I just can't leave them black. For some reason, I just can't help myself. But anyways, we are going to start putting some branches on. I'm just going to randomly throw some stuff here and there. Just some just branches. They don't have to be big. Most of them are not, actually. But this painting's pretty dry, man. That's taken me a while to this. I think because the canvas is bigger than what I would normally do, this painting has taken me a little bit of time to do, and I still got more to do. But we don't care, do we? That's what we do. We paint. Um, let's see. Let's take one. Let's just throw one right here. You can't even hardly see these branches, really. They're so dark. Everything is so dark. 
Let's take one and throw it right through here. But the liner brush will pull a lot of this these branches out. You can only do so much with the round brush and as I said, I, I use round brushes a lot, but the liner brush is really good for getting these little small branches and twigs. That, that's really what kind of makes the painting. I don't use mine enough. I need to start doing a little bit better about that. But yeah, you can't even hardly see these twigs. This is raw umber that I'm using. Um, I guess I can put one right through here. You can see this one, I'm sure. They don't have to be big. I don't want them big. You know, just something to fill in some space. Yeah, I usually use 16 by 20 canvases. This is a big boy canvas, 18 by 24. I used to use these all the time, these 18 by 24s. But there's nothing wrong with them. I, mean, I, I like them. But it does take you longer to do a painting because you got more canvas, right? And that's all right. I'll put a few more of these on. Then I still got to put, there's some leaves, actual um, comma stroke leaves on this too, on this particular painting. But I'm just going to put some twigs and stuff in and I'm going to bring you back when it's time to do some comma stroke leaves. But I did, and this grass is also really dark in the picture. I don't know if you can see, but I put a little bit of green. This is green with blue and brown. I think it looks a lot better. I just can't really leave things black. I just can't. If for some reason it bothers me and I'm not sure why. But it does seem to bother me just to leave things solid black. I need to get over that, I think. Because <laughs> sometimes, I mean, that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes things are black. Or at least they look black. Okay, let's see. Do I need another one somewhere? Let's put one right here. Make this one a little bit bigger than the rest. Yeah, I think I just need to get over that because sometimes things are dark. When I say dark, I mean black. All right, I'm going to get my liner brush out. I'm going to work and I'm going to bring you back when I start putting some of these comma stroke leaves on. We'll mix this up a nice color. All right, I used my liner brush on these branches and I mixed up a color here. This is a lizard crimson. This is orangish yellow, orange yellow perhaps. It came in a little tube, I don't know. And I got some brown. And this is what it, what I came up with, and this is actually actually the color that they use. And I'm gonna got my iPad here. Um, these are not necessarily what you would call comma stroke leaves, but they are collar, and everything's black, and this will put a little collar in it. And we're gonna do this for a while. I might even put a little bit more of that orangish yellow in here. I think it needs some, a little bit more brightness. There we go. You know, don't want to, you don't want to overdo. This is a dark painting. This is a dark painting. It's supposed to be a dark painting. But a little, a little pop of color here and there. Good, ain't it? You see what a see if I need any more up in here. Gotta be careful. I don't want to overdo it, man. You can't fix it's hard to fix things when you got this much when you're already finished with this much painting and then mess up and try to fix this. But I kinda like that so far. See I'm just randomly going around just popping a piece of collar in here and there. This is almost dry. This painting's been sitting around for several days. I just couldn't get to it. But that's not a bad little pop of color here and there. Something different, isn't it? See, my, this yellow is mostly on this side. I better not. 
I was thinking about putting some here. I better not do that. Because you can sure mess things up if you ain't careful. <laughs> I've done it, trust me. Most people have. Okay, let's see what we got here. There's there's a little branch sticking out, and I don't know how this is going to look, and I hope it don't look bad. As I said, you can't really fix this, because you can, but man, do you really want to? It's got some branches sticking out here. Kind of behind that tree. It's just some type of a bush. And I hope this looks good because it's going to be tough to fix. I think if I take my liner brush and make some branches, that it would probably be okay because then you'll know what it is. Just a wild branch sticking out. This is pretty close to the collar. I think I can pop a little bit more yellow on this. And that will be really close to the actual collar. Let's see if I can just put a little pop of yellow in here. Not it's the yellow orange I was using. So these paints are tied together. I'm not using a cad yellow light or nothing. This is this is that power right there that we originally mixed this color with. Let me get my liner brush real quick. It's a good thing that I saved some of this liner brush paint. Otherwise I'd have to mix up some new paint. I'm not sure you can even see this. And you probably cannot because I'm standing right here and I can barely see it. That's okay. I mean, you know, hopefully I don't look too bad sticking out there. Just use your imagination. <laughs> That's what I would say. Just use your old imagination. I, I guess I can kind of see some of this liner brush work. Just not a lot of it. Kind of blends in. It's so, so dark. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. Man, I really like it. I think it turned out pretty good. Something different. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.